Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Chris and I'm here with another tutorial. Once again, it's about hair. This topic was requested by a comment from Vina Otaku, so this time around I'm tackling black hair. Interestingly, black hair is a tricky hair color to paint. Blonde, for instance, like platinum blonde or white hair is even harder, believe it or not. So in this video, I'll try to break up the steps of how to paint black hair convincingly. I'm using Exo's Chenyol as a reference today. First things first though, I inspect the colors in the hair and create a palette. I've already done that here, but you can see I start with black, go to a lighter blue black color, into a light gray, and so on until I get to the highlights. Some examples are more extreme than others. Here it's kind of white but maybe a little more gray. I don't recommend using pure white, but more a color a step or two close to it. It's just a standard rule in painting that you want to avoid using pure white and black. It can make your painting look weird, muddy, and unrealistic. In photos, they are black and white, but in nature, they don't actually exist. Anyway, this isn't a color theory video, so I won't go fully into that here. Just stay away from white. Also, there are different temperatures of black hair. What I mean by that is different people will have black hair that you'll see has blue or brown undertones, which you can see here. On the left we have a model of blue tones in our hair, while the one on the right has brown tones. Blue is a cool color, and here brown is a warmer color. It's something to notice if you want to mimic realism. This particular piece actually has a combination of both, which could have to do with the studio lights, whatever he's near that's reflecting on him in his hair, background, skin, clothes, etc. Once you have your palette, I would fill in a black base color as it's our darkest color. In this process, you're essentially working in reverse. You want to go from dark and work your way up to the lightest point. I'm also using a different method here for my previous hair tutorial. I take my regular brush I use to paint and I start to fill in the lighter colors. In a way I'm somewhat sketching the flow of the hair with this brush, blocking in the main patches of colors and trying to figure out the flow of the hair. Once you've done that, keep working to bring out and render the light as you go. Here I'm using my custom hairbrush at 10 pixels. I'm now going back to black and using it to knock down and add fine details to the hair in the highlights I just painted. Don't forget to add in those stray wispy strands of hair off the top and sides of the hair to give it more of that natural look and feel. Be sure to pay attention to your reference as you work and take note of which way the hair is flowing. We're pretty much at the brightest point now and I'm just kind of working to make sure that all the values are the right color. I'm filling in the warmer blacks now. Yeah, as we're finished with all the blue-black highlights. I'm just 
tweaking and adding in more black if I need to. And that's pretty much it. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below or follow one of my SNS accounts. I will be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Peace.